Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame So it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you What's going on guys and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 Last time we bought this beautiful truck We customized it to, well pretty much my preference We took out a loan for 400 400,000 euros and well pretty much we need about 8,000 to break this loan back into a smaller loan so let's go take a look at the job market the freight market look as you can see these freights are worth a lot more oh look at this one 8,206 we are currently in Rotterdam. It needs to go to Groningen. Or how we say it, Groningen. So, yeah, let's set this one as GPS de destination. And this time I got the H shifter set up. Like, actually set up. I'll show you if my game wants to comply. Oh, massive frame lag. Okay, so um, let's see. Uh, I want to have that one. I want to have... No, I want to have... This one. Yeah, I want to have that one. For now. Because I'm still getting used to it. I got the clutch pushed in right now. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Then I got my button here to go to seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And I got my reverse right there. Reverse one, reverse two, reverse four. Oh, Jesus Christ. How did I get in reverse three? Right. All right, so let's uh, start up the truck and let's go and get ourselves the load. I don't think I like this map set up. Oh look, I got the map right there. That's not bad. Worst part about it is add speed. I don't, I don't know. We'll see. Release the parking brake. And we'll be off. Hold up, clutch, neutral, stop. Let's take a quick look. So, let's take a quick look. Quick look, quick look. Put it into gear. Let the clutch come. And we're off. Jesus Christ! I'm gonna murder this engine real fast like this. That's better, kind of.
Let's get in here. In here. Jesus Christ. Stop the bitch. Let's put on our parking brake. And you know what? Since like pretty much all the newer trucks are pretty much automatic. I'm going to set this one back to automatic. Because really this is no fun. These shifts are way too fucking short. And I got to make too many adjustments to actually get it right. So we got automatic transmission right now. The parking brake is still engaged. So let's go get our trailer. Let's go. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Ah, there she is. Let's go take a look outside for getting it hitched. I got my G29 set up for this, so we're almost there and stop. Hitch it. We wouldn't hitch it like that. So now let's go for a drive to our destination. Parking brake, of course. I keep messing up. <laughs> so, um, I hope you guys are doing fine. I mean, this is for me, it's Monday right now, the day that I'm recording this. For you guys, it's pretty much Friday or any other day of the week when you're watching this. I, I, I don't know. But for me, it's the day before Christmas, so I just want to wish you guys for what it's worth. Not much at this point because it's going to release on a Friday. And yeah, that's after Christmas. But I still want to wish you guys a really. A Merry Christmas and a really good new year. I hope you all got great plans for uh, Monday for the New Year's Eve. I myself, I have to work, so yeah, sadly I won't. I won't have the day to myself. But that means more monies. But sadly, they have to go somewhere. Tax shit and that kind of stuff. I don't. It's it's hard, man. It's different over here if you're. Well, not really uh, doing much. Uh, honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna be working much anymore because yeah. Oh yeah, I'm gonna gonna be working a lot next year. I mean, in the new year. But yeah, this. At the places I work at, like, nobody even comes there at this time of year. I mean, the hell am I actually doing there? You know? Why am I even there? There's already a couple other people. I mean, just like today. There, at the whole, the whole company, there were maybe seven or eight people 
And four of them were at my place. At the place where I work. I mean, come on. Really? What are we doing? I mean, seriously, four people to man like a counter and some back work, back office work. Really? Are you sh are you kidding me? I mean, I uh, manage um, a storage place, like um, pretty much like this. Uh, it's good storage, that kind of stuff storage for uh, materials that kind of stuff it's like industrials it industrial equipment and I I yeah I, I pretty much manage that so yeah my job is pretty much done because no one's gonna go there and take his take their stuff and at the same time I don't have anything to do. I already did my cleanups. I already did the inventory count. I mean, honestly, I don't know what I got to do. Just like today, I had to go to work. I, I went to work. I stayed there. We were with three or four men. I mean, come on, really? You need three or four men for the seven people that are actually at the company? Nah, -uh. really. So what I d what I did is I stayed for like two hours. Uh, I wrote an email to like my supervisor. Yeah, even I got a supervisor, even though I'm a, I'm a yeah quote unquote manager. I'm not really a manager. I'm like the chief of the the, the storage. I decide what happens there, so yeah. And what what does and what doesn't belong in there and where it belongs, that kind of stuff, you know? So let's take this turn up here. And oh well, yeah, pretty much what what the hell do we have to do there with three people really what what are we doing cost inefficient so I send an email to my supervisor saying like uh, in thought of um, cost management I decide to go home and have like my colleague take over for the day because yeah he's more acquainted with the location and he knows everything there he can handle he can handle himself oh oh my god really I was looking for the oh shit I was looking for the return button but I know what the return button is oh I'm going way too fast way too fast so what I did I, I sent that email and then I got a reply like Sure. Cost reduction. Seems like a fine plan. Yeah, have yourself a nice day and Merry Christmas. That's what they that's what he said, so I was like, fuck yeah, I'm out. So here I am recording. Oh right, I um you may notice like my mic, it sounds way different now. I actually finally got myself a preamp came in the mail today so yeah really good good stuff normally I don't have the time to like go out for the stores because by the time I get home I'm either really tired or the shops are already closed so yeah I don't have the time to go out I mostly order everything that I use I got a couple uh, a couple places that I actually regularly regularly order from 
and yeah that's pretty much it they always come through for me so and when something comes in between they neatly um, refund me or send me a notification like it'll be later or it'll be then and then we'll be delivering it that kind of stuff you know so yeah just a couple trusted locations nothing really amazing or anything but yeah Uh, the preamp came in today um, along with uh, a cable for the mic to the preamp and the whole time it was plugged in with uh, an aux cable into my PC I mean there's nothing wrong with that but yeah holy shit you fucking idiot you stupid fuck the hell are you doing and why is it 50 up here Still fucking highway. Jesus Lord. Don't you see about 40 tons are bashing your way? Jesus Christ. So, uh, yeah. That's about all I have to say for now. I mean, yeah, this view is pretty nice. That's pretty much all that happened so far. So no more updates on my life status. But yeah, I hope this video sounds really, really nice. I mean, the preamp was pretty expensive for what I make. Don't get me wrong, I mean, I make it sound like I do a lot of hard, hard work, but I don't. I literally get paid to do nothing. Literally. Sure, I manage the, the storage, but that's just supervising other people. Like, someone comes in, like, yo, I got this, it's got to go in storage, that, that kind of stuff. And then I tell them, like... Yeah, sure, put it over there, and then they do that. Or, I need this and that, and then, it's over there, go and get it. And then they do it. You know, I make it sound like I do a, a lot of hard work, a tough job, but actually, don't worry. But, yeah, the pay isn't, like, it's not like I get a real supervisor salary, like, Twenty dollars, twenty twenty euros an hour or something. Nah. I mean, I gotta say, it's it's an all right pay for uh, what I do, but yeah, it could be better. Could also be worse. So, let me know in the comment, guys, if you uh, are happy satisfied with your job or if you really want something else or something better and what would you want I mean I would really love to be a truck driver in real life I really would and maybe someday maybe someday I will but for now really is not gonna happen I just don't have to finance for it because a truck trucking license Around here, it's really, really fucking expensive. I mean, I did some basic research and like uh, basic packages with uh, license and lessons, that kind of stuff. And the the exams. I mean, you got to do like f five or six exams. Like um, one goes for the the driving times, like when you have to rest, when when you can drive. And how much hours you can make that kind of stuff one's paperwork and there's two other uh, theoretical ones for actually road rules where can you and where can't you drive and 
I think there was one other one for uh, different signs, specific signs, road signs, I don't know. And then of course you have to do your driving exam. So I did a little, little bit of research into that and about the basic cost of that if you if you make everything in one time it's like ace every test and let's be honest nobody does that then you'd be around 10,000 euros I mean come on really 10,000 I want to I want to go do a job right here you know make it accessible now I know state or um, yeah our government actually funds uh, these things but yeah that's really specific uh, under really sp specific circumstances now I know I can meet those but the problem is you still have to pay a large quantity yourself or have a company pay it for you well there's problem number one because the company I work for we don't have any truck drivers we don't have any trucks so yeah there's problem number one problem number two is I don't have 2000 or 2500 to my name I mean I'd, I'd love to work for that I'd love to save up for it and do it but for now I mean I'm content I'm happy with my life as it is I'm fortunate enough that I had the money to get all this equipment to actually make quality videos for you guys I mean I'm trying at least so yeah and yeah, I got I got pretty much Oh my god. Really? Turn to 50. Really? You don't have to punish me twice for the same thing. Well, so much for that. Well, where do we go? We go there. You don't have to punish me twice for the same fucking offense. Should have stopped me when you had the chance. But yeah, I don't have 2500 uh, or 2000 to my name. And I'm quite content with the way I live now. I mean, my ultimate goal would be would have been driving a truck uh, for a living. I mean, that would really be nice. That would be like ultimate goals, but I mean, I like I like doing this, like the whole YouTube thing. I I really like it. Like making the videos, doing the editing stuff. It's really fun. I mean, I'm glad I have the chance to do it. I really am. But in the meantime, I've been rambling on and we're coming up on our destination. So, uh, slow down, slow down, Bessie. Let's go up in here. And here it is. It looks like a farm. I don't know what they have to do with gasoline, but yeah, sure. Or what was it? Hot chemicals? Here we are. So let's see where they want it. Where do you need it? Of course. Of course, of course, of course, of course. You want it in the most unsuitable spot ever. Okay, I'm gonna try this one in third person view because that's... Honestly, I think that's easier. 
one second and one third person view. Jesus. I don't I do not want to know what kind of music they were playing. Okay, so here we go. Let's turn the trailer in. Now let's straighten out the truck. Turn the trailer in some more because we're not gonna make it. Let's follow it. Let's have it go in some more. Now straighten it to the position. Follow it so we don't lose it. Stop. Pull forward a bit. Jesus, who's... Are they slaughtering those cows? Straighten out. Now hit reverse again. And let's hit it in there. And stop. Pull it forward a bit. Because that's where they want it. And parking brake. Engine off. And deliver the trailer. And we made a trip. It was an excellent trip. We drove 269 kilometers. We took about 4 hours 13 minutes. We used about 120 liters of diesel. Our base reward was 7,273. Proficiency bonus was 600 euros. We did an ADR delivery bonus, so that's hazardous, hazardous materials. It was ADR class 3, extra experience points. Long distance delivery bonus, we have skill rank number 2. That's 333, oh Jesus, Illuminati confirmed. That makes a total of 8,206 euros with 432 experience points. And let's continue. That makes us a new level and we're going for eco driving because we have to pay for our, our own fuel now. Thank you very much. And we're almost there. So let's go take a look at the freight market. What can we do from Groningen or Groningen to Denmark? That's a nice one. Or back to Rotterdam. Let's go to Denmark. 11,000. I like it. I like the sound of that. Offer expires in 1 hour and 31 minutes. Let's go for it. Let's start up our engine. Get back in the cab. And put her in drive. And let's go. Oh, wait. Shit. I gotta release the parking brake first. And, and let's go. Wait, what? We can do AD in here? Jesus Christ. They want to kill someone? We'll feel it if we kill someone. Let's go. Hit a little speed and hit it. And 50. Jesus. Took your drifting up in here. So once I pick up this load I'm gonna time-lapse the rest of it for you guys so then you don't have to listen to my boring ass anymore so yeah that'll be a big positive for you guys let's go and tell the foreman Jesus Christ that was my wheel responding to something we're gonna take this job 
and let's hitch and let's go. Oh, right. Put it back in drive. Let's hitch and let's go. And I know my wheel makes a lot more sound all of a sudden. And that's because the force feedback just kicked in again. And it's trying to auto center every movement I make. That's why I'm having quite the hard time controlling this truck right now. And no, I didn't have it turned off. I had it lowered for better settings. And we're there. Shut up, please. So while it's coupling, I will fill you in on a little detail. I got a couple new songs. I hope you enjoy. Life's like a road that you travel on Just one day here and the next day gone Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand Sometimes you turn your back to the wind There's a world outside every darkened door Where blues won't haunt you anymore Where the brave are free and love are sore Come ride with me to the distant shore We won't hesitate To lay down the garden way There's not much time left to the
notification we are getting kind of tired so at the nearest rest stop gas station whatever I will be pulling off and well might as well fuel up the truck while I'm there and take a nap and then we'll be right back I think I see one coming up right there that's nice I hope it's on this side. I mean, honestly, I hope so. What is it? What is it? What is it? What? Say what? Not not a rest stop. Ah, oh, god damn it! I mean, I need myself a crunchy snack, you know. I need myself some food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up. You're not tired. You're not that tired. You're just hungry and cranky. Now shut up. No, but honestly, I really hope we're going to find something real soon because else we will be in big, big trouble. What does that sign say? Are we going to see a fuel station or anything? No, we're not. Oh, come on. I fucking know. Where are we in the meanwhile? Where are we? Where are we? How far are we from the boat, though? I mean... There is a boat part. We're not getting off the highway. No, we're not. Absolutely not. I just need to find a highway gas station. Jesus, I think I'm getting tired too. Avoid sleeping violation. Dude, are you fucking serious? I'm not avoiding sleeping. I'm trying to find the rest stop that you guys don't have any right here. This is not my problem. Look, there's one. 500 meters. Let's go get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Relax, we're going. If we get this violation once more, I swear to God. Now, remember that gas station we had in England? Yeah, there's a way better one, right? Let's fill her up and let's go to bed. If we can. Thanks, full. Start the engine. And let's go and get sleeping. Really? Oh, really? Yeah, really. So let's take a quick peek where we can sleep. Ooh, I know. Oh, right over there.
I'm gunning for it. Then now let's find a nice parking spot. Right about me. Yeah. Uh, this is not neatly parked. But this is. Park and brake. Engine. And let's take a nap. Good night. So, unfortunately, they decided to put us in the night. Y'all ready for a night drive? Let's go. I had to clear the signs. And we will see you guys when we get to the boat. Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains, Shenandoah River. Life is older, older than the trees, younger than the mountains, growing like a breeze. Country roads, take me home. So, as far as I can see, we're about to enter the docks and get to the boat. So let's see what, what they have to offer on the boat. Because I'm starving, you know what I'm saying. I need that boat food. No, but really, I could, I could use a bite to eat. 
I mean, I've, I'm looking scrawny. Wait. Oh. Already, I'm already so hungry that I've vanished out of existence. Okay, well, that's about it. That's about all I can do. Vanish from existence. So let's see where we have to go to port. Right here. All right. Nice. Now let's get on the boat. And we are going to. Now let's take this one. I think this one's the one we need. Get sir. Right. Sounds gross, but right. Hour and 45 minutes. Well, let's get these peas delivered. Let's uh, get a uh, going. I go this route because I'm big and heavy. Wait, what? I go this route. All right. Seems legit. And, oh, wait, wait, our destination's right here? Oh, this bullshit. Right outside the toll gates, the customs gates. Oh, all right, well, let's head in there. And see where they want the truck. See where you want the truck. Right there. Alright. Let's do it. Sound seems like fun. So, as we are moments away from making Massive Bank... I would already like to thank you for watching... Taking the time out of your day to watch my video. I mean, seriously. I'm just some random dude making videos on the internet and y'all are taking time out of your day to watch my content I mean that's pretty awesome and I wish you guys happy holidays going to be Friday when this comes out so I hope you had a great Christmas lots of presents and let's parking brake engine off and let's make massive bank right now we drove an excellent drive we drove 512 kilometers. We took about 18 hours and 5 minutes. We used 182.5 liters of diesel. Our base reward for 512 kilometers was 10,112 euros with 512 XP. Our proficiency bonus, because we are level 7, was 956 euros it's a long distance delivery bonus we got that skill in rank 2 so we got an additional 910 euros with an extra 128 xp trailer maneuvering bonus for the parking was 90 xp so we broke bank at 11,978 euros with 730 experience points thank you very much and i'll See you guys in the next video.